dilapidated structures, outdated libraries, worn out sporting facilities are major features of many tertiary institutions in Nigeria. The creation of the Tertiary Education Trust Fund in 2011 was however aimed at arresting the situation. Although some education experts blame the federal government for the situation, the executive secretary of TET Fund thinks otherwise. From 2011 to date, uh, the Tertiary Education Trust Fund has allocated almost 1.2 trillion naira to beneficiary institutions. The beneficiary institutions, according to the act establishing the fund, are all public universities, public polytechnics, and public colleges of education, whether they are owned by federal government or they are owned by state government. The executive when secretary gives further insight into the disbursement of funds to public tertiary institutions with the agency currently responsible for 60% of infrastructural development in most public higher institutions, which amounts to over 1.1 trillion naira from 2011 to date. The breakdown of the allocation shows that in 2011, the fund disbursed 117 billion 725 million naira, which it repeated in 2012. In 2013, the allocation increased to 187 billion 414 million naira, while in 2014, the allocation rose to 254 billion. 2015 witnessed a further increase as 298 billion 548 million naira was allocated. A sharp drop was however witnessed in 2016 when the fund allocated 213 billion 418 million naira. Equality of institution is a requirement in our Establishment Act and that is why all universities are giving equal allocation in our annual direct disbursement. For example, in the just concluded disbursement, in the just concluded allocation for 2016, each university was given 1.009 uh, billion naira. For the president of the Academic Staff Union of the Universities, the establishment of TET Fund is a saving piece for most tertiary institutions in Nigeria. In the first place, we believe that there cannot be any meaningful research unless there are facilities for research. So we see what TET Fund does in terms of infrastructure, infrastructural facilities as a way of preparing the ground for the conduct of impactful research. This position is also shared by a lecturer at the University of Abuja who believes that TED Fund is responsible for preventing the tertiary institution in Nigeria from total collapse. The researches that have been funded, particularly in the very recent past, um, I mean six, five years from now, has been very rewarding. I.e., TED Fund do not support or sponsor any research that is not uh, multidisciplinary. As the Tertiary Education Trust Fund continues to pursue its mandate with the funding of research and infrastructural development of public institutions in Nigeria, over 200 institutions are said to have benefited from the agency, with 77 ongoing research being funded. But the question many are asking is whether the funds being disbursed by TED Fund are judiciously utilized by the benefiting tertiary institutions.